Hopefully the uh, field will thaw out and we'll be back outside tomorrow. But we raised the doors inside, had a good, good temperature day. Um, guys have been a day early all week long, and uh, this is like a normal Thursday to us and got all of our reps in and now we've got to get in here and, and continue the cor corrections and on to the next insulation phase and tomorrow will be like a friday to us but we'll travel on a friday too tomorrow so questions miles does von miller get off the ball about as well as anybody in the league he yet? does he does a very good job that he did in college you know and, and I, I always smile back and forth about this is this an a m thing you know texas a m thing uh, but and and they 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 do have a relationship and uh, I think Vaughn does a really good job, you know, that pass rush clinic thing that he does with all those rushers in the offseason. It's kind of cool. You know, those guys kind of bond. All the rushers in the league kind of hang out and do some things together that way. But they do a, a very good job of anticipating the snap count. You know, last week, he, you know, had, a, he had several offsides last week. Is he more dangerous, too, when you guys are in a situation where you've got to use the silent count and then you may – it's yeah, always better at home. It's always better at home, you know, because in, in those situations, uh, though, you know, he doesn't get caught up in the cadence either because he can't hear either. So typically you, you do have advantages in those situations at home. Typically, yes. Great. Still with Lindsay, uh, what are you seeing that's made him so successful as a rookie? He's, he's, a, he's got really good vision. You know, we emphasize that a lot here the last two days in the meetings and some of the film that we uh, have shown on him and some of the situational things that we're teaching. Um, you can have everything stoned up pretty good and uh, he can find the one person. And last week, there were several examples last week and in weeks before where the teams, the defenses were pretty gap sound and he has enough vision to press it to the one leak, the one area. And then he has the speed and the open field burst to uh, make chunk plays. So, but I think his vi vision's very good. You talked about how, you know, some games you go in and you and you make stopping the run a priority more than other games, depending on the. Plan. This would be one, you know, and 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 it's not saying anything about the other facets of the game, but <clears throat> they thrive very well on that, and they've had some very good success doing that. And defensively, if you don't start there then it's hard to play any other place. And it's, it's typically each and every week there, but some weeks more than others. <clears throat> With Sean Perryman's speed, the speed factor he brings to the game, how does that make a defense adjust to him? It, it hopefully cushions them a little bit more. And also, you know, some of the secondary force elements, you know, uh, in space plays and the secondary force elements and run plays makes it a little bit less aggressive because people know that you know we do have enough speed to run by you in those situations and he's uh had a really day by day since he's come in here he's done very well and it was really good to see the success kind of show for everybody else of what we've been seeing in practice yeah, I know his numbers are huge but how rare is it to get anybody kind of mid-season that has an impact it's not right easy and, and give the guys credit up upstairs for that and give our coaches credit that were that was talking back and forth, you know, on the, when he became available for us to do that. But we were all on board with uh, that person, with him getting an opportunity here. And he's and he to his credit, he's come in and earned his chances here. He's done a very good job. You meant, or Schumer mentioned yesterday that Keenum can be a little bit of a gunslinger. How do you tell your guys to balance, you know, being aggressive and trying to make the plays when they're there? You know, we've played other quarterbacks like that too. And I think that uh, our guys are doing a great job picturing it in practice. You know, Tyrod just gives us an outstanding picture of those type of things. But we've got to be aggressive. We can't, you know, uh, we can't worry about that mentality part of it. We still have to be our aggressive nature. And then the gunslinger parts of it comes out when um, they di dictate the timing of the play. So we've got to do a good job in our rush element and how rush and coverage work hand in hand. But we can't be surprised that, it, that Case will throw it into tight coverage. And sometimes where there is a, maybe a relaxation point where you think you got your guy covered and you don't have your head around, that's not right. Because he'll, he'll put the ball in a tight window. Greg, the last five games, um, you're three and two. That's great. But some defensive numbers are down. Do you do you keep track of that, and is it a concern? We do keep track of all those things, but you know we're in the top ten in DVOA. 
which is every situation known to man defensively, and we've played the second toughest offensive schedule in the National Football League. So not that I would be able to keep track of every number, but I have those numbers memorized. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'll see it, it's, the, it's probably the most accurate uh, defensive or any analytic statistic for offense, defense, and special teams because it takes in everything, time on the clock, p p uh, place per, per yard, first down situations, second down situations, third down red zone, two-minute takeaways. And it all blends into one. And you'll see that uh, defensively, we've, we've played the, the second toughest schedule to date right now on the offenses we've played and how well we've ranked up in there. And we've got to continue to fight and struggle and do what we can do. Zell missing again today. Are you ready to kind of rule him out for this game? You know, I, I will never ever say it until tomorrow. You know, but tomorrow's a, a definite practice day. But uh, he, you know, he's been making progress. He has. How much more effective is the offense when Jarvis has a big impact like he's had the last couple of weeks? I think anytime you have those chunk plays, you know, it's not just Jarvis, but it's everybody. You know, and we, we've we've taken turns with several different people having chunk plays, and. You know, last week there was quite a few guys that had those big plays, and that's when your offense becomes tougher to defend because of you can't maybe roll coverage to a certain person, slide a front a certain way, slide a, a blitz a certain way because, you know, there's more than one person that you're having to take care of. And I think our offense has done a really good job, you know, and how we're taking a look at ourselves and our self-scouting week by week by tweak. So... But it was pretty cool to see him, you know, jump out there last week too. How long have you been using uh, DVOA? Uh, in the last several years, you know, the last the, the last several years is when it's become um, those services and stuff have become uh, pretty accurate. And in the league, you know, maybe some of us coaches have uh, they've gotten our respect on some of the things on how accurate that looks as a total defense as opposed to one particular area. And then the things that you look in this area is, is again, you know, we've already played more plays and there won't be anybody to catch up with us in plays, you know, this year, you know, on, on when you take a look at just total yardage or total plays and all that kind of stuff, there has to be other factors that figure in. Can they stick in variables like what scheme you were in or what play Everything. was called? They can, they, they can do it if you want it that way, yeah. If, if, if that's how you want it, you could, yes.